Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how to root, unlock the bootloader and load a custom recovery on the LG Google Nexus 5. Now, before we continue, first off, all credits and props goes to Wogfresh on XDA Developers. Um, what I'm going to do is put a link to this forum in the video description. There you can find it. Just expand the video description and click this link. It's very important because what I suggest you do is log into XDA Developers, hit the thanks button, better yet, donate to them for all their hard work. Furthermore, if you have any technical questions and you ask me, I most likely won't respond because I'm not a developer. I wouldn't know how to help. So ask for help in this forum. Furthermore, this is the forum where you're going to download the actual files necessary. So what you're going to do is go to this forum. As I mentioned, the link is in the video description. Go down just a little bit. Um, you're going to look for something like download links. Click that link. It should look something like this. If for some reason you end up at a different link on their page, don't worry. Just go to Nexus Root Toolkit. All right. So you're going to go down and here's a listed um, other Nexus devices that are listed and supported. I uh, have used this on my Nexus 2013 edition. I can confirm it works and the Nexus 4. Uh, as you can see, the Nexus 5 is now newly added. So anyway, keep going down just a little bit further and you're going to look for download. You have a bunch of links here. Uh, you can click the first link. If for some reason it doesn't work, then use one of the mirror links. Download the software, install it, keep pressing next. And we're going to start getting everything ready for modifying. Keep in mind that uh, you'll be modifying your device. So if something go wrong and you could permanently damage your device. If that is the case, I take no responsibility. So you'll find this video at your own risk. Okay, because you will be modifying it. You could damage it permanently, your uh, Nexus 5 phone. You want to get the drivers ready for your computer to recognize. So what I suggest you do is simply, you know, have your phone, plug it into your computer with your USB cord. That's it. So, and let maybe the drivers show up here in Windows. Um, if it's done and everything's okay, then what you want to do is install drivers for ADB. So you're going to go to System Settings, all the way to About Phone. Keep tapping the build number. You get a countdown. It says you are now a developer. Press back. Uh, go to Developer Options. It should already be on by default. Check USB debugging. Press OK. And now you're going to plug it in with USB debugging mode on to install additional drivers. If for some reason the drivers do not install, don't worry, I'll show you another method of getting it up and running. So as you can see, it's installing drivers. Okay, so my drivers for the USB debugging mode has installed. It says I want to transfer files, but we're going to close this because we're not doing that right now. Uh, I just need to warn you guys. Um, actually, let me open up the program first. I just want to warn you guys that unlocking the bootloader and stuff will wipe everything off your device. Okay, and when you open the program, what's going to happen on your device is going to have this pop-up screen while USB debugging mode is on. What you're going to do is check mark always allowed from this computer, press OK. It's imperative that you let that happen. It must show up on your screen. If your screen turns off, turn it on and look for that bubble. Anytime you open up this uh, Nexus Root Toolkit, what you just downloaded and installed. If that doesn't work, nothing will work. Okay, so as I was saying, it'll wipe everything on your device. So make sure that, uh, you know, you back up all your pictures, videos, and music. Your apps and stuff will be erased. There's nothing you can do about it, unfortunately. Okay, so on the first startup ever, you'll get this list in which you can select which device. We're going to use the Nexus 5. Now you're going to select your bill number. To find your bill number, uh, just, you know, back on your main system settings page. Go to About Phone. As you can see, my bill number is KRT16M. So I'm going to look for that in the list. KRT16M. Apply. Uh, it's telling me to hook it up in, you know, ADB debugging mode. I've already done that, so it's all good. It's going to do a whole bunch of stuff here at the bottom. We'll continue on. Now, in case it gives you some pop-ups saying, hey, you don't have this uh, file ready for your phone, just keep pressing OK. It's going to download it. Um, it might pop up a couple of times saying to download some files. Just download them. You will need them and we'll continue from there. All right. So I had to download two files. Um, you should be about more or less the same. Once that's done, the program itself will open. Now, if for any reason you put in the wrong Nexus device, because I said it works with other Nexus devices, or maybe you punched in the wrong build number, you can always just press change and change that information. Uh, in case the drivers do not work, uh, we'll be progressing. If the drivers don't work, the program itself will tell you, hey, we can't find your device. Their drivers aren't working. Uh, so don't worry, the program should notify you. If for any reason it doesn't work, come back to this main screen, click full driver installation guide, and just follow the instructions here. It looks like it's a lot of information, but it's actually not. Um, so th the driver should be no problem at all installing. But what I want to do right now is um, unlock the bootloader. So what I'm going to do is, see, it's unlock. 
In fact, if you just hover the mouse over anything, this gives you a very quick description of uh, what it does. It's very, very well done. Um, and also, by the way, if you guys want to know how to relock the bootloader, unroot, load stock recovery, like undo all the modifications we're doing in this video, I'll make another video showing how to get that done. So you'll be set, don't worry. So for now, I want to unlock the bootloader, so I'm going to sit unlock. It's giving you a warning that everything's going to be wiped. Uh, I'm going to press OK. It's asking if you have already booted into fast boot mode or if you're in ADB debugging mode. Uh, my device is still in ADB debugging mode, so what I'm going to do is click um, yes because I want I want the program to automatically boot my phone into uh, fast boot mode uh, to unlock the bootloader, and we'll continue from there. Uh, you'll notice that on the screen it'll say something like uh, restarting your uh, device into bootloader mode. Uh, this is what shows up. Uh, that's perfectly normal. Uh, we'll continue once it's done. Actually, it is done. Uh, what it's telling you now uh, on the screen is giving instructions as to what you should do. What you're basically going to do is unlock the bootloader. So you can use the volume key up to go to yes to unlock the bootloader. And you're going to press the power button to accept. Okay, so right now it's going to start unlocking the bootloader. Okay, as you can see, it took a, like a, maybe 20 seconds for it to notice and you saw the unlock, uh, the padlock was unlocked. That basically means my um, device now has an unlocked bootloader. Okay, so after unlocking the bootloader, uh, you know, you activate USB debugging mode again, you plug it in, and you, you should still have this program open. If not, just reopen it up again. Um, your device is wiped clean. It should take in uh, like a couple of minutes to start up after unlocking the bootloader. It will take a while. So again, we're going to say always allow, press OK. Remember, USB debugging mode is on. Uh, I showed you guys how to do that at the beginning. You just simply go to your system settings, about phone, key type in the build number, then go to developer options and uh, tap USB debugging OK. So what we're going to do now at this point is um, root and load a custom recovery. OK, so you're going to check mark custom recovery and click root. OK, so when you when you press uh, root, it's going to basically give you this screen telling you that you can undo everything. But in order to make this work, you must have an unlocked uh, bootloader, which we already did if you guys followed along. Uh, then you press OK, let it do its thing. So it's going to keep doing a whole bunch of stuff. It's going to keep rebooting. Uh, we'll continue when uh, something else happens. Okay, so the device actually rebooted normally once, uh, but do not unplug it. Don't do anything because it's actually restarting yet again. Um, so you, you should get some sort of pop-up window telling you that it's actually done. So no matter how many times it boots up and restarts, don't touch anything, okay? Okay, the program has given me this big uh, pop-up window telling you uh, what to do. You can always just read it yourself, but just a quick recap is basically saying that you should have root access now. So what I'm gonna do is go to my App drawer, let's see if we can find root. Okay, I have super user. Uh, what we're gonna do is say no thanks. So I, I guess I have root access. Um, what we're gonna do now also is go to BusyBox, which this program installed, okay? And as you can see, it's asking for root access, granted. I can now confirm that I have an unlocked bootloader and root access. I'll confirm that I have a, a custom recovery as well in just a moment. Okay, so when I give BusyBox root access, it started loading a whole bunch of stuff in the background. Um, after it's done, what the developer says in their program is that you should change will be installed to and change it to system xbin. Okay, um, what I just simply do is uh, tap install after that. I usually just do smart install. I'm not sure which one to use. I just use smart install um, and it should finish quickly. Okay, it says everything was successfully installed. I'm just going to exit out of here. Uh, at this point, you can unplug your phone from um, the computer, but just click OK to exit the script first. Okay, so at this point, like I say, you can unplug it from your computer. I want to confirm we have um, custom recovery. What I what I do, the easiest thing for me to boot into custom recovery is I use an app called Quick Boot. I'll put a link in the video description um, to Quick Boot. What it makes me do is tap on it. And then some, from here, all I have to do is simply tap recovery. It's going to reboot into recovery, but it's going to ask for root access first. Press grant. Uh, all I'm going to do now is wait. It should automatically boot into custom recovery. Um, again, if you want to download that program, the link will be in the video description. And as you can see, I have custom recovery, team win recovery project. So I can confirm that I have unlocked the bootloader, rooted, and loaded a custom recovery. Um, and everything works great. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, be sure to check out my Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter links in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.